Number 69, define these terms. And then we have letter D, the overall reaction. Okay, so if we're taking maybe a overall approach to answer this question, we're going to be taking a generalized approach, right? Overall, other words that we can say for overall is general. A generalized reaction. Or maybe sometimes you might see a net reaction. But an overall reaction is basically your generalized sum. It's going to be the sum reaction of all the steps that are part of the reaction. So it's the sum of all, and here's another uh, definition. It's a sum of all elementary steps. And in the past letter, letter C, we did um, define an elementary step as a single step reaction. So we'll say sum of all elementary steps, or we'll say sum of all elementary reactions. So uh, for a generalized idea here, let's just say that we have a two-step process. So step number one, let's say we take, I don't know, A plus B, and we make AB. Beautiful. And then what we're going to do is we're going to introduce that compound that we just made with something brand new, and we'll call that D. And I'm just making this up here, but maybe they swap. So now AD is now together, and B is by itself. Now in this, first off, this is something that is called a mechanism. A mechanism is your outline of all the steps needed for a specific reaction. So in this case, we made up two separate steps, and each individual step, that's a single step. A plus B yields AB. This is an elementary reaction. So we'll just say elementary for the first one. And this is a single step by itself, right? Step number two, that's an elementary step. But the idea is that when you add these two steps together, you will get your overall generalized or net reaction. And in this case, things are going to start canceling out. So the AB that you had in your products gets canceled out with the AB that you now used in your reactants. That goes bye-bye. And in this case, the same thing with B. I have a B on the left side and a B on the right side. So they get canceled. Nothing else could get canceled, so my overall reaction, the sum of all of my elementary steps, or my elementary reactions, in this case would be A plus D yields AD. But notice how this overall reaction is not identical to the two elementary reactions. So this comes into play where we talk about the rate law. A rate law is not going to be, more chances than not, it's not going to be um, abiding by the overall reaction. It's going to always abide by an elementary step uh, because that's just a single step. But your rate law should, should not, I mean, if it does, it's a coincidence, but it shouldn't abide by your overall reaction. And that's the definition, an overall reaction is a generalized reaction that is the sum of all of the elementary reactions in the mechanism. So maybe I'll just put that, you know, in there. Sum of all elementary reactions in a mechanism, and then we're good with that. And that's it. What'd you think? I hope this helped. Thank you so much for coming here and viewing the videos. I really hope I'm helping you out. Let me know in the comments. Love talking to you guys. Thank you so much for the support. And you're always supported by us. Good luck on your tests and quizzes. And I hope you do well, okay? I hope you're having a great day. And I'll talk to you soon, okay? All right. Bye-bye.